All right, so today we're going to be attempting the Death Run Remade mod, which is one of the hardest mods in Subnautica, but I have amped up the difficulty just a little bit by adding a realistic, like, realistic recipe mod that alters, not alters, it increases some of the, um, like, some of the requirements for some of the items that you need to make in the game. And I also have the Persistent Reapers mod on. Or no, it constantly spawns in Reapers around the map, and those Reapers can also pick up my scent and follow me around the map if I do, like, try to go anywhere else. So, uh, yeah, this should be fun. Hopefully we get a good spawn because if we get a bad spawn with this death run mod then we may be uh the shallow arch safe shallow spawn yo yo i ain't never been happier to spawn in the safe shallows in my life that's the first thing oh my gosh dang we just oh my gosh this is beautiful a beautiful spawn and the kelp force is right there i'm about to i am about to to flourish i'm about to flourish here it also adds a new little thingy as far as depth goes so we can see at the very top we can see there's like a little orange number next to my you know regular depth and that is the actually i don't know what it is but i know that whenever that number turns red whenever it starts to turn red it means i'm a ending too fast so i can't go up too fast or else i'll start to take damage from the bends i don't know what the heck that is as far as like seasickness goes so if y'all know you know maybe one of y'all like marine biologists feel free to let me know because i'm not sure what the bends are but i do know that they hurt you in this game so that's that uh all the creatures are more aggressive in this mod i take more damage overall from everything almost anything can one shot me but yeah everything's more aggressive can spot me from further away we go we go oh my gosh if i can speak we're gonna have a nice smooth beginning to this uh this playthrough and if y'all want to see more you know just feel free to let me know i'll make that all right so we don't need the scanner right now because we can't really use that oh oh speaking of scanner this mod also um amps up all the scannables that you need okay so main goal right now we need to make the oxygen tank and we also need fans and to do both of those things we need to go to the kelp forest biome because we need the pre-fine samples pre-fine seed clusters so let's get on over there oh okay another thing when the aurora explodes if i'm not deep enough underwater it'll automatically huh, unalive me so there's that uh so i need to move quite quickly there's a reaper right there uh hopefully he's too stupid to notice me over here and also when the aurora explodes the surface air will no longer be breathable and there'll be a big old pocket of radiation that spreads around the map until i fix the aurora so as soon as the aurora blows up assuming i'm i get it i get that far and i actually survived the explosion i'm gonna need to fix the aurora asap huh. asap no larry and y'all know who Glorb is? Give me these. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. All right, let's return. Let's return. Another thing off topic that I wanted to talk about, because I've been seeing it everywhere, because that game's about to come out. It's unrelated to Subnautica, but I feel like even if you don't care about this game, it's still something funny to talk about. It's Black Ops 6. Now, I've been playing Call of Duty for, for quite some time now. So I'm no, uh, I'm no scrub. I ain't no scrub. <laughs> no scrub to the, uh of the franchise you know i'm i'm pretty seasoned player i've been playing since like at least world at war no not world at war i started it i think my first cod was like call of, i think it was call of duty 3 that was my first cod game oh yeah progression that's what i like to see o2 tank and now i'm out of silicone rubber isn't that just awesome yeah i've been playing the cod games for quite some time so i've seen i've experienced cod whenever it was in its peak you know, I would say, as most people would say in a peak from like World at War to Black Ops 2, I'd say it's like the absolute best era for Call of Duty. Everything was still innovative, super new and all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. All right. All right. We, all, we, we know. We know. Now, Black Ops 6 being beta already dropped with a bunch of gameplay put. I can't speak. Gameplay footage for the zombies has been released. You know, we've seen what the zombies going to look like. We've seen what the multiplayer is like, all the new movement that they got in that game. I'll never be like, you know, if you like this certain game, then you're just an awful person or something like that, because that's just completely stupid to say. Like, you know, t if you like a game, you like a game. There's nothing wrong with that. However, I've been seeing a bunch of people who have, like, justified criticisms against Black Ops 6. For example, the biggest thing that I've seen is the freaking zombies and how they freaking, in my opinion, they done massacred the zombies. I don't know what... I don't know what kind of RPG game they they trying to make us play in the new zombies, but it ain't it. Not not for me at least. Yeah, in my opinion and in many others' opinion, they have massacred the zombies. Not what it used to be. It's lost all its soul, all its identity, you know. And I agree. I agree with that statement because I don't know what the freak I was looking at before. Now the new COD fanboys, everybody who's like jumped on the series like just recently, and by recently I'm talking like people who joined the game in like 2019, so Modern Warfare 2019, that whole era. Those are the main people I'm talking about. The people who first got onto the Call of Duty series from those games, they 
swear that those games can do nothing wrong. Like whenever people start criticizing the new like Black Ops 6 and it's and it's horrible looking zombies and some people's opinions, they just they the first thing they say is, oh well y'all are so blinded by nostalgia, you know, you can't even realize like how good these new games are. Like no, no, that's not what it is. We just realize how funky these new games are. Okay? Ain't not blinded by nostalgia. There's no way and people are like, well you you guys need to be more open to new things, be more open minded. Zombies is gonna change and whatnot or the games are gonna change it's like back then the games were constantly changing that we're, like we're not against change in the call of duty games the games were constantly changing back then basically every time a new game dropped they they were changing something new whether it was graphics gameplay wise guns story uh game modes etc it was constantly changing and they constantly improved added new things made amazing changes to the game which is why everybody loved it so much and didn't really have nothing to say uh we can exclude modern warfare 2 that reaper is coming this way uh let's go in and <laughs> oh let's go in the opposite direction that reaper that reaper kind of coming this way ain't he wait as i'm not caught me wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute oh, okay that's loud that's loud okay i heard you i heard you i heard you i heard you ah look at you you're too big <laughs> too you're too fat to get through this little crack He's trying to go around. Let me go in and get inside the life pack with Tartan. Look at that Reaper Shadow out there. He's still outside. He's waiting on me to get out. Sir, there are... Um, I, I said it once. I say it again. There's a ton of different fish on the world of... What is, what is What planet is this? Four, five, six? B? Something like that? <laughs> something like that? There's a ton of different fish to eat over here. And you want to try and eat me. I'm not even a fish. I'm just a rinky-dink human. Look at my slim body. Look at these legs. These legs ain't gonna feel nothing now. Is it nighttime? It's turning nighttime. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's still right there. Okay, okay, let's let's wait for him to leave, I guess. The main people who play Call of Duty now, at least the newer fans, I'm like 90% sure it's all like super, super, super younger people. I'm talking like like TikTok age people. All right, the Reaper Leviathan seems to be gone, but the area is all black around me. Oh, oh gosh. Scanner, 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 scanner. Cause we need to get a vehicle, right? We need to get a, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. we need to get a sea line. So let's get a scanner. <laughs> it's not gonna come with a battery though. Yep, uh, it's not gonna come with a battery. Uh, so fun. I can't really look for fragments at nighttime because for one, I can't see. And two, I run the risk of getting swallowed whole by Reaper Leviathan who doesn't know what, how to eat anything else other than human flesh. This playthrough is super modded. Like, aside from the Death Run remade mod, I have a bunch of other mods on here. Just in case, you know, I do continue to do this over and over and over again. You know, we can have a nice little modded Subnautica series. There's a sea glide fragment right there. It's beautiful. Beautiful. That's what we need to see. How many does it take to make this? We need four fragments now. They done doubled the amount of fragments you need. Sending too quickly? Bro, I'm at one meter. Can we relax? I see a wreck over there. We're going to go explore that. That's exactly what we're going to do. I can stop rolling over my words. That would be fantastic. I do that a lot in case y'all, for those who either this is your first video watching from me. What did I just say? This is your first time watching a video from me or people who have already been here. Uh, I roll over my words a lot for some odd reason. There's a reaper. There's a reaper nearby. Oh my gosh, of course. I did want to try and beat the game with this mod on, but you know, if you look at the mod description, whenever you first install the mod, it literally says the objective isn't to beat the game, it's literally to survive. Another sea life fragment, we need one more. We need one more, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the lubricant for it as well. Please, some of this are not. Yes. Charles. Come on, game. I'm about to drown. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, the bends, the bends, stop bending. No. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We might need to make that hike past the those who tank before we proceed because that was a little close that was a little close i ain't gonna lie <laughs> playthrough almost ended right there playthrough would have ended right there and y'all would have smooth called me trash i'm sure i'm sure there would have been at least one person talking about some yo you suck and what you doing ascending too fast too fast what did i just say ascending too fast all right we made some good progress make some good progress today let's uh where the lubricant you need disinfected water to make lubricant what kind of malarkey is that okay so we got fans stop swinging the knife around before you cut yourself and did your mom take you huh what didn't your mom teach you nothing growing up? Didn't your mom teach you nothing growing up? What did I just say? I don't even think that sentence made sense. I need four titanium. Yo, we got that right here. We got titanium on speed dial. Now we have to wait for these boo-boo solar panels to recharge. Let me go out and do something else as well. This is a problem. I'm running out of time. Look, we need to get some stuff accomplished on the second day. I really need this sea glide by the second day. If we can get that, I think we'll be good whenever the aurora, the aurora explodes. I need to slow it down for real. I am talking way too fast and I just keep messing up my words. Yo. I have had two, two near-death experiences so far. First with that Reaper at the start, then I caught I caught the bends, almost got clapped from that, and then this crashfish trying to blow me up, huh? 
Everybody just out to get me. I see how it is. We need salt. That's the main issue we're having right now. We don't have any salt. Wait, heal. What am I doing? I'm about to go out here and get oh, bleh, bootied on. All right, that's the area we need to go to over there. Oh my gosh, I'm ascending too quickly. Where's that brain coral? Give me some, give me some oxygen. You took the oxygen. Yo, short. Sure. You don't even need the oxygen. You're a fish. You're a fish. You can breathe underwater. What the freak, man? Oh my gosh, please, 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 please. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yep, you got juked, boy. You got juked. There's the Reaper. All right. I can't outrun him in this open area. He's got a lock on me. Got a lock on me. It's time to go. It's time to. Why are you right there? Yo, this game trolling. Game trolling. Nope. Oh, oh my gosh, this game is all family balloon. No control me. All right, all right, we good, we good, we good. False alarm, the reaper backed off. They tried me right there, they showed sure in. This, this getting stressful, I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's a sea glass, that's a sea moth fragment. I need that, we need that. Oh, we need that, scan that, scan that up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let me see it. Really, Trevor? Oh, you need, you need it. Oh, you only need it three in the base game. You need. Well, over I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, we might, we might be cooked. I don't even know if that's many. There's that many fragments on the map. Okay, no crashers here. Get that cave sulfur. I need that. Need that cave sulfur. I need it. I need the sulfur. What did Thermite say? Prestige. He said fuel, metal oxide, and metal powder. To put that together. Uh, yeah, I forgot what he said. See, just so boo boo now. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So we, you, all me and my, me and all my friends, we used to play Siege not anymore. Not even a shell of what it used to be, cause Siege is still something, but it ain't the something it used to be. I don't know what it is now. It's crazy how sweaty, how the sweaty individuals of the gaming community have ruined virtually almost every game. They ruin every game that they touch. Left 4 Dead 2, they ruin that. Oh my gosh, the rebreather. We need that as well. They ruin Left 4 Dead 2 with their sweatiness in that game. All right, so lubricant. And one bleach is gonna make us four disinfected water, which is going to amount to... That's kind of OP too, because disinfected, yeah, that gives me 30. I like that. All right, we need creep vine seed clusters now. Once we get this lubricant, we'll be golden. I mean, golden. All right, we're running out of time. It's getting a little dark, but that's okay. We've made some pretty good amount of progress, I would say, for this day. So we need two gold, copper. We got copper. All right, we got our creep vine seed clusters. One, two, three, four. We're looking for sandstone now. Sandstone, sandstone. We can't wait till I get this sea glide. I hate being scared of all these freaking smaller, lesser creatures. Have y'all ever played Subnautica and tried to play, just try to explore the game at nighttime? It's a whole different experience. This game, y'all probably can't see nothing right now, aside from like the it's probably just pitch black on y'all screen right now because that's what it looks like for me I, I could barely see anything and if you have the horror shaders on for this game when it's nighttime you might as well just turn your pc off because the whole screen is black you can't see nothing why was that cave i was just in and where are the sandstone outcrops at yo game trolling right now that's exactly how it be in every survival game whenever you're looking for a specific resource it never shows up but as soon as you stop looking for that resource they want to start giving it to you in in um in floods and swaths that stalker is about to bite my cheeks okay no he's off me okay we're good He's still coming from my rear end. He wants my rear end. He wants this human rear. He wants this human Altera worker rear end. Get off of me. Oh my gosh, there's our life pod. It's all beat up and damaged, but it's home. It's home for now until we make ourselves a base. Oh my gosh. Okay, now. Oh, okay, we put the disinfected water away. I was about to start raging. All right, so we have the copper wire. We made a pretty substantial amount of progress. We got our sea glide. We got some fins, high capacity O2 tank. Okay, there we go. There we go. Make the sea glide. Make it. Make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, silly gun is now mine. Put that battery in it. I'm about to be zooming. I ain't scared of no Reapers now. <laughs> they all about to get outran and outdone. Oh my gosh, it's turning daytime. All right, what are we going to do today? What are we going to do today, y'all? What, 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 what do we need to accomplish? Uh, Yes, actually, we need the rebreather. We need, okay, and the bag, and the bag. Let's get the bag as well. All right, so rebreather, and we're going to get a bag. So we need to get fiber mesh for the bag real quick. That's gonna give us more inventory so we can go out and collect more things and bring more stuff back. Oh gosh. All right, we got eight minutes. Eight minutes to, um, we got eight minutes to make this rebreather. It says shockwave up to 100 meters deep. So we need to get 100 meters underwater, I think. I think to survive the shockwave. We need to go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. We need this metal salvage so we can get the enamel glass. When we get the enamel glass, we'll be set, basically, because we can make the rebreather then. And then after that, I'm panicking right now, y'all, okay? I'm panicking because I don't want to blow up and lose all this progress I just got, okay? Y'all know what it's like to blow up? I didn't think so. I don't want to find out. If it gets to five minutes and we haven't gotten a stalker tooth, we're going to make a bunch of O2 tanks and we're just going to go as deep as we can and just keep switching them out till the explosion subsides. Please, just eat this. Eat one of these. Heard it. Heard it. No, no, no. I heard one. There we go. There we go. All right, we got one. There we go. Stalker tooth. 
Huh? Huh? The stalker tooth. We got ourselves the live one. All right, what do we need to make the enamel glass now? Please tell me it's just one stalker tooth. We need three stalker teeth. We're actually good. This all over, y'all. Ah, 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 okay, okay, fine, fine, man. Dang. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it. If I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I don't know if we're gonna make this. I already know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight to the left. I'm gonna go to the safe shop. I mean, not the safe shop. I'm gonna go to the, uh, the grassy plateaus and we're gonna go straight down. We're gonna go straight down and see how, how low can we go. We're gonna see how low can we go. I don't have enough titanium. We got, we got one, we got 30 seconds, 30 extra seconds of oxygen. It's, it's gonna have to cut it. Where am I at? Well, dang. All right, our sea glide's almost out of battery. Worst case scenario, I'll switch the scanner out. I'll switch the scanner out. I'm panicking right now. I'm a little panicky. Fudge, bro, I gotta sneeze. Hold on, pause the game. Wait, no, the sneeze is going away. All right, all that panicking I was doing, making the sneeze go away. Yo, when the aurora explodes, the reaper should blow up too. Ain't that ain't that fair? Is that not fair? Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think we might be fried. We might be fried right here. I went the wrong way. If I, if that, I promise you, if we blow up right here, I'm gonna be so mad, I'm probably gonna turn this game off. And it's gonna be the end of this video. I promise you it is. I have to get over to this spot right over here. I know the mushroom forest is right here. I'm not the mushroom forest, the jelly shroom caves. It's right here. If I can just get over here in time, and then we just have to go straight down. The only problem with the jelly shroom caves, there is a certain someone who lurks in there. There's a Leviathan, because I have another Leviathan mod on. Forgot to mention that. That's also, that's also gonna make the game harder. It's the bloop and blah. The Leviathan mine and the Blaza Leviathan is like a big old snake and he resides in every single cave in the game so he's gonna be down here hopefully he don't eat me all right we're here we're here we're at the cave we're at the cave I don't even know if we have to go down that far honestly we just have to wait for the Aurora to explode at around when should we head down y'all I think I think at um 30 seconds maybe I need to conserve as much oxygen as possible all right 35 no at 30 seconds oh, we're gonna wait till 20 20 22 seconds, 20, 22 seconds, my favorite number. No, my favorite number is 37, what am I talking about? All right, 22, go, 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 go. Wait, no, it's still too early. Go, 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 go. All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go, y'all. I'm gonna stay right here, I'm gonna stay right here as to not conserve, I'm not using too much oxygen. It's right here. Ooh, is that a sandstone? Oh, oh, give me that. Four, three, go, 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 go. Under, down, 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 down. Down. That blouse of the is not down here. Come on, come on. I ain't got much time down here. All right, here we go. Here we go. I should be alive. I should be alive down here. All right, yep. I just got hit back. I got hit back. We good. We good. Yeah, yeah. We good. We good. Yep. Yeah. We done did it. Radiation suit. Now we need to. Now we need to make quick work on the radiation of the aurora. This is. This is the real crunch time now. Double crunch time. We survived the explosion. Let's get back up to land. We can just ascend. Oh my gosh. Ah, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. This might just get me. Come on. 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 You are kidding me. Tell me there's a brain coral sample around here or something. I need something to give me some oxygen. Yo, Sand Shark, if you bite me and end this playthrough, I'm gonna come back, bro, and I'm gonna haunt you for the rest of my days. <laughs> okay. Okay. My fault. My fault. No. No. Please. Oh, hey. Not breathable. Ow. How did I forget? I should have been looking. I was right next to the safe shallows or the or the grassy plateaus. All I had to do was look for a freaking I had to look for a brain coral sample. That's all I needed to find. If I could have found one of those, we would have been good. I forgot the surface air was not about to be breathable. You know what I should have done? Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. I should have gotten the floating air pump, right? I should have gotten a floating air pump from the very beginning. All that time I wasted just sitting on the on the surface, I should have took that floating air pump, made a bunch of pipes, and brought it all the way down to the Jelly Shroom Caves area. Yo, that's gonna be for next time if y'all wanna see this. Y'all wanna see me attempt this again. I don't know how the freak I forgot that the surface air is not breathable anymore after the aurora explodes. Man, whatever. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all wanna see me come back to this, just let me know in the comments or, you know, let me know by running the likes. Um, I'm, I'm freaking defeated right now. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.